Hey, it's Jason. I'm here with my Skag Tiger Cat. I bought this in 2013, I believe it was. Uh, this is the um, commercial grade zero turn mower. And I want to go over a little issue I had. This year I had it in uh, for some maintenance to the service shop. I had blades put on and just some other general maintenance done. Um, usually I like to send it to them. They're pretty affordable and uh, saves me time. But what happened was I uh, was cutting the grass yesterday. I only was cutting about three acres, a neighbor's property. And when I finished, I lifted the deck of the mower up and I heard something dragging. And the sound I heard was that. And that, I knew, was the blade. This is not the blade that was on it, but this is what a blade looks like. You have three of them under the deck of the Skag, uh, Skag Tiger Cat. This is an older blade, and I replaced it because, you know, after a season or two of cutting, it was uh, a little degraded. But what I want to talk about in this video is not the blade, but what I had to do to fix it. So, you're going to need a few tools. One... A 15th, 16th socket wrench because you're going to need to tighten it from the top. And you're going to need, I'm just using an adjustable wrench. This is just a crescent adjustable 8 inch wrench to go underneath. And some preventive maintenance you should always do on your mower is you should definitely check the blades to make sure they're tight. Especially if you're a commercial shop cutting a lot. I neglected to do that because I just had it in for maintenance and I may have cut... 15 acres max um, so shame on me maybe I should have checked but I think maybe they weren't as tight so when you're looking at your deck here oh. Skag is really nice because they know that time is money for the commercial grade folks so they make this little um, cup that basically pops off and when you pop this off you can see the actual nut in here that's going on the bolt which goes all the way through the pulley and the deck and which what, what, what makes it spin. This nut came off of mine and as soon as the nut came off, boom, it could drop. So let me show you what that bolt looks like. Just a second, Jack. This is the bolt that came loose on mine and you can see here how bent it got. So if you look, you can really see how it bent. And that's going to go up through the bottom. So let me show you what I'm talking about. You loosen these with your hands. Again, this is made very easy because they don't want commercial shops to be down. And it's going to show the pulley. That pulley has a belt on it. This spins. And when it spins, it's making that bolt hooked to the blade, making the blade spin. You can imagine it has very high revolutions when you get up to speed. So if this nut comes loose, it's going to drop the bolt down. Then you're going to have issues. It could be dangerous too. So what I do is I drive the mower up on a ramp. Um, these are just your typical car Rhino ramps. I will say though, if you're only doing it on flat ground like I'm doing here, you're not going to have enough clearance to get that bolt back in. So you have two options. You could put something under the ramp so you get more height or... I just take a jack and very gently, I'm talking like a centimeter, I just lift that deck up just a little bit more. It doesn't make it uneven or nothing, so I don't worry about it. So what you're going to do to fix this, or to tighten it, you would basically take that bolt and go back up through the blade. But in this case, we're going to talk about making sure it's nice and tight. So take your 15th, 16th socket, put it on, make sure it's ready to be tightened. And then you're going to want to take your adjustable wrench and you're going to want to go under the mower. So let me get under here. And I'm going to hope that there's enough light. Yeah. Looks like it. I'm going to adjust it. And this is the... Jack and Fly Bubba. This is the bolt that's going through the blade. So the bolt... Then it's going to go on a washer, which you can kind of see. And then it's going to go on this like spacer. And then it's going to go up through the deck. It's going to go up through the deck. And away you go. So to tighten it, 15th, 16th on there. 
I just put my adjustable wrench down here and then I'm able to turn it and tighten it if you don't hold pressure on the bottom then you're gonna obviously see the blades go but that's how this system works and you're gonna want to just always I would say do a visual inspection and make sure that that nut does not seem loose because if this nut gets loose and comes off your blades gonna drop and when your blade drops you're all of a sudden going to um, have that noise I had and have some issues look this is pretty basic I know but um I think it's cool to show and a lot of people have a lot of property and they might have a skag tiger cat but they actually don't do a lot of maintenance on it and the last thing you want to have happen is that bolt to drop off and then your blade to get um loose and you're stuck in the middle of acres um without able to finish the job and just for safety just make sure i mean it takes two seconds to pop that plastic cap off every other cut check make sure it's okay and if you were to change your blades this is the process to do it you would loosen that bolt up let let the uh loosen the nut up let the bolt drop pull the blades out and away you go so i hope this video is a little bit helpful on this skag tiger cat um, again, this is Jason. Check out my blog, www.jams.net, for more DIY and adventures uh, my son and I do. Thanks for tuning in.